that one. Ah! Bro, look, you gotta stop doing that. What you want, huh? Ah! Welcome back. What am I stuck on? Two. Now I gotta jump with the freaking chair. Another, <laughs> another video. Welcome, you guys, back to another video today. I like a cringy intro, don't I? Uh, yeah. And today we are playing Lamp Post SCP Horror Game. Like I said, SCP Horror Game. And last upload was like, what, two weeks ago? And the football game tomorrow? <laughs> Let's get straight into it. <laughs> that scared me. Right, play. Let's go. Ow, oh, my forearm. Wait, they know this. Van. Are we in the van? Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thorn Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP XXXX, is currently under supervision of, of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and get further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. No, <laughs> I'm basing the invincible. No oh, shoot. Dr. Hayden. Our answer suggests that this is the Kester Keter class SCP, which means that it is very difficult to, to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but it's somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. Uh -huh, well, well, you can clearly see that we're surrounded by forests, yet the objects in this area appear from unknown locations. We must contain these objects. Oh, Here, this is an, an analog multi multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I will be checking for how. Why are you talking so much? But another uh, uh, anomaly as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case anything happens, and Dr. Thorne will provide with us with medical help if we need any. Holy shit! Select like at least five samples report to Dr. Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, vigilant. Avoid interaction with the lamppost and good luck. Dang. So we need to find anomalies. We can Come barely sprint, <laughs> Jesus. We need to... We can't get near the lamppost apparently, so... We need to find five objects as a task. And this is our anon anomaly thingy. Why is there blood here? Why is there blood footprints? That is concerning. Huh. Got one. Let's check this Starbucks coffee over here. Starbucks coffee? Yup. This is a box. What mushrooms, this, pills, no, nope. drugs, all right. Oh, tape, we got one. And now there's a bloody shovel. All right, <coughs> someone has been murdered here. Clearly. I think we got everything over here. I think now we need to go to the other side. The doctor hiding is him. Look at him, bro. He's walking like, like he's the man here. Dr. Thorne. Jesus, you look ugly. Dr. Cooper. Holy shoot. How do you live with yourself? All right, what's over here? Oh, black card. All right, we need one more thing. And I bet you it's gonna be this thing in the corner. what I say? Oh, Dr. Cooper, I got your little presents. Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do you not wonder where, where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in within with, with the van. You saw that too, right? Ah! Dr. Cooper! Not too. You know. No one is allowed in this area. You, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere? Maybe even another dimension? I don't know. Your analog multimeter is picking up very high heat frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. Ah! What the lamp? What the lamp? What's it doing? Bro's transforming. Bro's going to Super Saiyan. Yo, 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 yo. Where am I? I hear walking, and I'm in a dark tunnel. So how did I get here? I'm lost. So we're in a tunnel. We need to find our way out. 
Date unknown. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tried to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. Well, no duh. I'm here now. My theory is, is that this work is a photon created at a metro bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place, where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a search of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light and if anyone touches it, the lamppost, an object, or a person, disappear. Well, great. We basically just killed ourselves. Oh, ah! Ah! We walk back. We walk back. We walk back. It's just, it's just a guy. What you want, gang? Is this hiding? You come out more or what? He <laughs> moved, he moved, he left. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. Leave. I, I scared him off. There's a computer here. No, turn off. That's loud. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. So we're in a maze, basically. Don't. That is a lamppost. Do not go near the lamppost. Alright, I'm curious though. What happens? Nothing. There's more bones. This is probably Cooper. Not poor Cooper. There's a door. Okay. Oh, someone's getting drunk down here, dog. Another letter. Sick. Another computer, too. They are known. Sometimes a lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time and return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one, is, one thing is clear. That those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh. And it feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. So... Basically, you gotta get on its good side. Turn on that. Oh, fuck. that one. Ah! Bro, look, you gotta stop doing that. What you want, huh? Glasses though too. And they're fine. Kuturines! I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. No, it's que mommy. El juego se llama. So mira, aquí estaba yo. Se llama. Y fue esa persona aquí. Y fui caminando a él. Esa como que quiere. Me corrió bien rápido. Se me espanté y fui para atrás. Y Kuturines estaba viendo yo. Pienso. No, y se espantaste a él. Sorry for scaring you guys. I promise I didn't mean to scare him. The poor bird. <laughs> what are you doing? You go home if you want to, I guess. You'll be in the video though if you want to be in the video. You can't really see him no more, but. And he's gonna go, don't bite my charger, please. Cotorines está explorando la casa, okay? Well, guys, the bird is now exploring the house, so. I guess, I guess, the, I guess I scared him enough to the, you hearing guys? Hey, Kutarinas! <laughs> okay! I know, right? Back to finding a way out. We need to turn on computers then. That makes sense. And let me guess, he's gonna spawn again. Yup. He didn't chase me this time, thank god. Holy shoot! Dr. Hyden? Oh, uh, uh, bro? So I guess Hyden's alive. It's more like Cooper and Thorn is dead. I'm gonna let you be, right, bro? You have a good day. Lampos, we go, I guess. Lampos, my boy! 
Take me back home! Oh my god! Let's go! We're good. Oh, oh shoot! I'm about to get jumped! 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 I didn't get jumped! I didn't get jumped! And like that, guys, the game closed. And me, once again, left like a champion, like a victor. I beg your pardon? God defeated. <laughs> Incredible. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, I have a monstrous back. Yeah! <laughs> I feel like I just terrorized my bird. Yeah, I'm not leaving any bird part in. I'm gonna get canceled <laughs> for bad bad animal parenting. Those sucks. Alright, okay, that's the end of the video. Uh, don't cancel me, Peter. Oh, please. Uh, I, I love I love birds. He loves me, clearly. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys had a lovely day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now.